So today I'm going to be running through the QuickBooks Online integration and how you would get this set up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is jump from my dashboard, go down into the settings area of Tradeify, and the area that I'm going to head to is the integration settings. As you can see here we've got all our integrations and in this case we want to be selecting QuickBooks. So I'll do that now. In terms of what we need to do to get this up and running, we simply have to log into QuickBooks. This will take us through to a, a QuickBooks page. And on this page, we simply need to log in and then give access to Tradeify. So I've already got our account logged in and, and remembered. So I can simply just come down to the bottom right here and select Authorize. At this point, this will take us back to Tradeify and the two accounts will be linked. So this is now all hooked up. The few things we have to do is simply select some defaults here within the account. So these defaults are needed in case you don't have any individual accounts selected against an individual billing rate or a price list item. So I can simply jump in here and select the relevant defaults. So this is our default sales of labor, default sales of material. These could be different accounts if you have it set up that way in QuickBooks. I'll then set up my bank account and then any your purchases account. So it may be worth checking with your bookkeeper if you do have specific accounts that you want your information to be sent to. In terms of what the options you have down the bottom here, we've got three different options for QuickBooks. The first one we highly recommend you don't turn off. This will continue to use the QuickBooks invoice numbering sequence, so Tradeify will pull the next available number directly from QuickBooks. If you turn this off, then you may have a discrepancy in the invoice numbers between the two systems. The second option here is send files to QuickBooks. This will include any attached notes on any invoices or bills. So this may be pictures, videos, PDFs. It's completely up to you, but they just need to be attached to the invoice and then they will send over and be available in QuickBooks. The final option here is send priceless items to QuickBooks as inventory. This will allow you to then send over any invoice or bill information and it will update or adjust the, the inventory levels or even create the item in QuickBooks. So very easy to set up and get running and from here our two systems are integrated and I simply have to hit save. So thanks for watching the video today. We do have a whole host of other videos that will guide you through how to utilize Tradeify and also how to set up some of the other areas so don't hesitate to jump in and have a watch of those. And if you did need any other help specifically, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Thank you.